Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy Monday to you and appreciate your company as always. I'm Dustin Staples here with you on the start of a full week of November. As you know, we turn the clocks back over the weekend and gain an hour of sleep. And as you're watching the newscast during the five o'clock hour and beyond, of course, it's now about dark at this point and getting close to it to say anyway, as our sunsets will be getting earlier and earlier every day now. So if you are getting off of work around 4.30, 5 o'clock, you're going to begin to see uh, the sun setting uh, quicker as uh, we're approaching those short days and uh, which means we're getting close to winter and that I know some of you are excited about some snow and some are saying nope not just yet and I understand that so we're not talking about no snow this week we have a complete 180 to talk about with some warmer temperatures and uh, the rest of the afternoon our temperatures are going to be staying uh, right now at 62 and then we're going to quickly drop through the night as our first of all thanks to our sunset setting early we're seeing less of that sunlight and more of those calm and clear skies overnight which allows the radiation of cooling to occur basically meaning I've explained this before the uh, any heat that was uh, just evaporates and escapes back into space, allowing our temperatures to fall quicker throughout the overnight hours as well. So it's another cool start, not as cold as it was over the weekend in some parts of the area. We're going to see much warmer conditions for our Tuesday, abundant sunshine out there. Highs will be staying right around 77 degrees. So another warm afternoon or low staying in the mid 40s. So again, not as cold, but rather still a little chilly in the morning hours. You're going to need a little, little bit of a heavy coat in the morning. Then you can kind of just uh, let that go in the afternoon. We're going to continue to remain warm through Wednesday as we're going to have another front approaching the area. This is where things are going to get a little concerning because we're, we're still timing things out here. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow or Tuesday, we'll have a better idea when all this rain will be coming through. Of course, uh, for Wednesday again, but partly to mostly sunny skies, <clears throat> excuse me, overnight lows are staying in the 40s. So we'll get a soaking rain to start the day on Thursday. We may start out with some clouds in the day, then throughout the afternoon, we'll begin to see this heavy rain moving on in. Uh, right now, again, there's about a quarter to a half inch rain is expected. So we're going to keep a close eye. Right now, it doesn't look like any flooding is likely with this uh, storm coming through, but it could prompt some heavy rain in a short amount of time. We want to see rain continue through th Thursday night as our temperatures will stay in in the 60s and mild mornings uh, for your Friday with that rain continuing on through much of the afternoon. We will begin to see the rain slowly break up and throughout the day. So again, mid-afternoon on Friday, we're still kind of weary about how this will all unfold, but it does look like later Friday night, things should start to calm down uh, and uh, remain cool to say anyway. We're going to remain windy on our Saturday. Highs will be get back in the 50s again. So another uh, cold, chilly weekend is in the making, of course, for Veterans Day Thursday. If there are plans, uh, most likely likely you're going, to be, you're going to be doing things indoors uh, instead of rather outdoors as well. So we're going to be doing some stuff with them uh, later this week. But Luis has been already talking to some uh, veterans uh, programs coming up uh, last week, and we'll be showcasing that to the rest of the week again. So just keep all that in mind. And of course, uh, we're getting right close to Thanksgiving holiday. We're going to talk about that coming up for you a little bit later in the weeks to come. So if you're uh, getting ready, you want to know what the forecast for Thanksgiving is looking like right now, long term, and they are predicting some much colder temperatures coming. There's some moisture involved. We'll have to see how this all unfolds right now. Way too early to start uh, being skeptical of weather will come our way during that time frame as well. Of course, Wanda, now post-tropical storm Wanda, the last hurricane named storm on the hurricane list, has completely dissipated. There's another area of disturbance. We're going to keep a close eye on that. But again, the, the, the later we do go in the season of a hurricane season, the uh, less likely these storms have a chance of strength into a major uh, hurricane because water temperatures are cooling off and we're losing a lot of that um from the atmosphere where those storms can start having firing and fuel. All righty, stick around. We're going to have Chad Hall coming up next with sports. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. 